Good evening and thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 11th day in the month of February 2022. My name is Adishola Samo Emmanuel. First, the headline. Contractor said to commence total reconstruction at Umwaya Ikwano, Ikot Ekwene Road. Donatus Umwakba adds overpower to Honorable Acho Obioma as Abiel APC chairman, says party not factionized. Pastor Ayo Orisha Jafo, Joshua Telena Sinach, Shoma Jesus and others for 2022 Power World Ministries Gospel Festival in Umwaya. These are the headlines. We'll be right back with the details and more to the commercial. Stay connected. APN is at it again. It's time for the reversible and political leadership project evidence in Nigeria. Get ready for the most detailed online TV and radio program tagged Operation Show Your Project. Operation Show Your Project. Showing every Thursday 11 a.m. on ABN TV and radio. Operation Show Your Project is the authentic platform for all elected and appointed leaders in politics at all levels to showcase their accomplishments within the period in office. For project documentation and production, contact us today on 0816-634-7017. On 0816-634-7017. Operation Show Your Project comes up every Thursday at 11 a.m. on ABN TV and radio. Be part of the testimony. Welcome back. Now the details. Motorists along the popular Umwaya Ikot Ekmene Road will soon give a sign of relief. As the contractor Atland Construction Company Limited concludes an arrangement to commence total reconstruction of the Federal Road linking Southeast and Aquaibom states. Honorable Donatus Nwapa, the immediate chairman of Abia State Chapter of All Progressive Congress, and inaugurated the state working committee led by a former member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Acho Obioma. ABN TV report. He handed over the reign of the party leadership to aim at the party secretariat at Zeke Railroad, Umwaya, the state capital, on Thursday. Umwapa said, The emergence of Obioma as the state chairman of the party is the wish of its teaming member, adding that his reign marked the beginning of a new era in Abia APC. All is now set for 2022 annual gospel festival organized by Power World Ministry International. Umwaya Abia State scheduled to commence February 14 to 20 when the grand finale will take place. Those expected at the Gospel Festival, which coincide with the church anniversary, are former president of Christian Association of Nigeria and Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Pastor Orisha Jaffa, Senior Pastor of Shepherd's House International, Abuja, Pastor Joshua Telena, Pastor Ziri Agiri of the Royal House of Grace. Port Harcourt, music ministers such as Sinat, Choma Jesus, and many more. If I in a job for council of the leader of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Nam Dukanu, has co complained that the IPOB leader was not allowed to change his clothes by Department of State Services. He made the complaint after Kanu was visited by his legal team on Wednesday at Department of State Services headquarters in Abuja. The Federal High Court in Port Harcourt River State on Friday dismissed a corrupt case brought before it by the Economic and F Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, against Abia Bond businessman and philanthropist Mr. Kingsley Unzuri K, popularly known as Uwata Anayo Eze, for lacking a merit, ABN TV reports. The court held that the EFCC failed to table before the court a verifiable evidence to prove its case and subsequently upheld Umwata and IOAC no case submission. Ahead of the 2023 general election, President Muhammad Buhari has won diplomats serving in the country to keep their focus on diplomatic assignments and steer clear of Nigerians' local politics. The president spoke yesterday while presenting letters of credence to four foreign diplomats at the presidential villa in Abuja. The president at last October, issued the same warning during a similar ceremony for 11 diplomats. The Supreme Court has declared as unlawful and unconstitutional the Executive Order 10 issued by President Muhammad Buhari on funding of state judiciary and legislature. In a split decision on Friday, majority of the court's seven-member panel agreed that the President exceeded his constitutional power in issuing the EO 10. Former Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Lagos West, Peter Adebi, is dead. 
born in 1943. Adebi died in the early hours of Friday. He was the bishop of the diocese between 1999 and 20, 2013 when he retired. His successor, Bishop Olushola Odedeji, announced his death in a me message to members of the diocese on Friday morning. And on sports, FIFA on Thursday approved Ademola Lukman's switch from England to Nigeria. Lukman was not able to play for the Super Eagles at the 2021 African Cup of Nations because he was yet to get the clearance from the World Football Governing Body. The Leicester City winger in the past represented England in at the under-19, under-20 and under-21 levels. Russia Premier League outfit Spartak Moscow has announced Victor Moses has signed a new contract that will keep him at the club until 2024. Moses linked up the Spartak Mos Moscow on a permanent deal in July 2021 after spending the previous campaign on loan and the club for Chelsea. That's all on today's seasoning news. Before we go, a recap of our major headlines. Contractors set to commence total reconstruction at Umwaya Ab Ikwano Ikot Ekmane Road. Donatus Umwa bans over power to Honorable Acho Obioma as Abia APC chairman, says party not factionized. Pastor Ayo Orisha Japo, Joshua Telena, Sinach, Choma Jesus, and others for 2022 Power World Ministries Gospel Festival. For these and many more, you can log on to our website at www.abntv.com or visit us on any of the social media platforms displayed on your screen. I'm Adishola Imado. Have a very good evening.